if there's one thing we want you to come away with after watching our channel, it's that you are the hero of your own story. But storied heroes are often tested when they stand up against the bad guys. And today in studio, we've got the baddest bad guy of them all. From Marvel Legends, it's Thanos. <sighs> baddest bad guy of them all. <sighs> we shall see. Welcome everybody to Collecting Star Wars. Well, Darth Vader might not be impressed, but we could not believe our eyes when we went to Target and found Thanos sitting there on the shelf. We grabbed him up like the Buccaneers defense, picking off Pat Mahomes in the Super Bowl, just to bring him back to the studio to do a review. And Marvel Legends has outdone themselves with the box art. Just phenomenal job. And this guy is too cool for school. Let's not wait any longer. Let's open him up and have some fun. <laughs> And here he is, Thanos, out of the box and free to unleash havoc upon the universe. Check him out. I gotta tell you, I don't have a lot of Marvel Legends figures, but the ones I do have are the animation, the comic book style, and this guy is your Jim Starling, George Perez, Thanos, ripped from the page and brought to life. He's everything a comic book fan would want to see in their Thanos action figure. He hits the mark. He is so great. Let's get a close-up on that face. Love the expression. It's sort of a maniacal laugh meets a I just want to devour you whole. Those piercing blue eyes, so ominous. It's got a great football-like helmet with the stripe going down the center. Love the marbleized gold armor. Nice gloss to it, nice shine. And the simple but yet so appropriate blue color of the uniform. Also has a nice shine to it. Just right. The gloves without the stones, they're great. Love the wrinkles and the boots as well. Just ominous. Look like just going to stomp you out. Such a good job Hasbro did with this figure. Really can't say enough about it. It's simple. It's done right. It's fun. So cool. There's Thanos. And he comes with, of course, the accessories that you'd want to see. First of all, you get this bonus extra head, which is the old man Thanos. And he's got his gold helmet with the spiky crown and a nice 
braided beard there. Still got the piercing eyes. And then you get two Infinity Gauntlets. You get the I will take over everything clutching claw that every bad guy needs. And you get, of course, perfectly sculpted the snap. So cool. The one thing I'll say that um, stuck out to me, check out these pegs. They are fat pegs. Here we have Venom Pole, thin ones. Here is Kingpin, also a very thin peg. These are not going to be compatible. Now, again, I don't have that many Marvel Legends, so let me know in the comments below if, for, say, uh, Hulk, Incredible Hulk, for example, does he have a fat peg, or is it skinny and thin like these? Because I think Hasbro is intentionally doing that. They don't want you to just put the Infinity Gauntlet on every hero and swap them out, which is kind of a bummer. I'd love to do that, but unless you're going to customize it and file that peg down, you are not going to be able to do that. Again, tell me if I'm wrong, if you have Marvel Legends figures that it will work for. But he's not going to work for mine. But still, love this figure. Thanos, so cool. And that's our review of the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. One thing I'll say as I close out is that Hasbro gives you this nice throne insert that you can use in your displays if you like. Just a little extra, that's fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. You can follow us on social media. On Twitter, we are at Steve O Says Stuff. And on Instagram, we're collecting Star Wars YouTube. Also check out our other YouTube channel for inspirational videos. That's called Devo with Steve O. But until next time, remember, be kind, stay strong, because you are the hero of your own story. Oh, my head. Why do I feel like every molecule in my body vanished and then reformed again? I know what you mean, bro. Let's ask Vader. Hey, Darth, did you defeat Thanos? How'd you do it? You should have gone for the head. I did. Yeah, but didn't he have a spare?